Yet during off hours, there are shops as quiet and as isolated as Prairie Junction on a Sunday morning. Aren't you, Sergeant? Yes, sir. You seem to disapprove of me. No, sir. It's just that when you're sent out here, you should let a little bit of the war soak in before you try to win it in one day. Well, I guess when you come up for the first time, you're a little over-anxious to do a job. Is this where you go to college? Yeah. Yeah? No kidding. Why don't you sit down, Johnny? Okay? What do you want to talk about? Talk about, uh, the old man, John. What about him? Let's talk about why you wanted him killed. And what difference is that? Hey, wait a minute. It's all taken care of, isn't it? Oh, yeah, sure. He's dead. I mean, don't worry. You didn't get your money's worth. We just want to know what for. I don't see what that's got to do with you. Uh, we made a deal. You got the money. That's it. <laughs> come on, Johnny. No. Oh, really? We're square. No, come on. Be nice. You wanted him dead? Now we want to know how come. Okay. I owed him money and I couldn't pay. He said he'd make trouble unless I paid him right away. Must have been uh, a lot of money. It was, yeah. <laughs> it must have been a lot more than... Uh... Five bills. Yeah, because you could have given it to him instead of us. It was. It was. You know, it was a lot more. How could you get on the hook to an old clown like that? I mean, what was he using? Uh, <laughs> was it books or something? He was a bookbinder. Yeah, so, I mean, even in college, how many books can you get done? I mean, you know, I don't see it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, like, how much could, you know, how much could he hit you for, like, you know, one book? Look, you guys, you asked and I told you. Listen, at this time next year, I'll be in practice. And if you need a lawyer, you come to me and I'll take care of you. Now, what do you say we all go home? Tell us about the old man.
Are you alone? Yes, I am. It's not the kind of place I'd bring my girls to. Go inside, Mr. Doyle. Door's unlocked. Robert Stryker is currently residing at 206 East 8th Street. What is it? A beat-up rooming house. Corso has it staked out. I've been wanting to meet you, Mr. Doyle. Okay, that chair. Night after night, watching you broadcast the news. You're the only one who seems to understand. That's fine. Where did you get it? Well, we worked the art supply houses and then started on the model agencies. The tip came from a girl who once posed for Stryker. She works for a painter now. We met before. From across the room. Me here. You there. You said I was a genius. Well, yes, I, I did say that. You see, I knew it intuitively. That's the whole point. That's the whole point of everything. 270 Detective Squad, Lieutenant Haynes. Johnny! Yeah, what's up? You look jumpy, Gary. You don't mind if I call you Gary? Delighted. I bet you're wondering whether I did or didn't kill Gene Dawn. Yes, Lieutenant, I know how many times you stabbed her. 17, but I, I think I can handle it myself. All right. All right, I'll wait. Bring the whole department if you want. I need your help, Gary. Every cop in the world's looking for me. What kind of deal do you have in mind, Bob? I need a lawyer. I, I need your best lawyer there is. I, I won't give myself up until I get the best lawyer in the country. Someone like that would cost a lot of money. I know. The network will pay for it. It depends. Now, what would they be buying, Bob? The exclusive story. The whole thing. How and why Jean Dawn was killed. There are cops out there. What? We ought to get out of here. You told them? I mean, heck no, I just told you they were out there. Why would I bring them here? Listen, you better not be double-crossing me! How's he doing lately? Picking up any work? Knock on wood, he's had one job after another. He's been straight, Glenn. He really has. Nicole, I'd love to believe you. Hello, old buddy. Que pasa? Que pasa? Where'd you, where'd you park, man? Down the block, Matt. Check his sizes, Marty. You been busy, Chip? Huh? Yeah, I've been busy. Kind of hard to do that without the enlarger, isn't it? Oh, no. That's uh, in the shop, man. It's getting repaired. Oh, that's so? Look at this, Glenn. The guy's fat. It's got to be at least a thousand dollars. Where'd you get this, Chip? I told you, man. I've been busy. Doing what? Pulling commercial burglaries? An awful lot of those in the last couple of weeks. No, man, I swear I've been out of town. Ask Nicole! I think you're under the influence, young man. We're going to take you in. Oh, man, please. This is the first time in six months. Oh, save it. Put the cuffs on. Donna, give me a break. Give me a reason. I make a deal with you. Let's talk about it in the car. Come on. <laughs> 